Gomez is coming, a white gangbanger shooter tries to join a Mexican gang. Man, I'm so high. Get ready, Holmes. Which one? It doesn't matter. Bingo. I'm hit. I'm hit. Not bad, huh? I got three of them. Hey, you guys are on the news. Two of the victims are on life support, but Luis Gomez died at the scene. You idiot. You killed the kid brother of Carlos Gomez. You know, the butcher. So what? He's in the joint. Yeah, but he get out on Thursday. Man, man, I, I need your help. Are you crazy, Gringo? The butcher will kill us all if we help you. We, uh, we don't know you anymore, man. You already dead. Already. The butcher's gang. Heat the streets. We want this dude alive. He be our present for the butcher. <laughs> His name, if you want, live. It's Valdez. Ricky Valdez. He at his mother's house. Come out, Valdez. We know you're in there. No. No. Crash. <laughs> That's for Luis. Stop. He belongs to the butcher. <laughs> Throw him in the van. Hey, Ricky, guess how Gomez got his name the Butcher? <laughs> because he loves to slowly torture his victims until they die. <laughs> Tonight, we serve you a taco supreme. <laughs> because tomorrow, you never have to worry about it again. <laughs> I almost feel sorry for you. <laughs> State prison following day. There go the butcher <laughs> back on the streets. I feel a lot safer with him out of here. You be back, Gomez. Don't count on he. Man, we are glad to see you. We we, we got something for you. <laughs> What's wrong with him? He hadn't said a word to us. He is planning his revenge. <laughs> Stay out until I am through. Valdez, you can't dream what I am about to do. One hour later. It too quiet. I, I go going in. You want to die, stupid? I, I'm going in anyway. What the? Oh. Thank you, Lord Jesus. For coming into my heart. Ten minutes later. Call me. I want you all to hear this. Last night in my cell, I met a chaplain. This dude used to be meaner than me. He never told me. He, well, he told me things the priest never talk about. Then he blew me away with this one question. He asked me. Carlos, you ever hear about the worst killing in history when man murdered God? What? Man, that could never happen. It did happen, Carlos. Almost 2,000 years ago, the whole world was infected with sin, and God could never let sinners into heaven. But he loved us, so he made a way for us to go there. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Only someone who was sinless could pay the price for his sins. And the only one who qualified was God the Son, Jesus Christ. So Jesus come to earth and let sinful man murder him. Three days later, he rose from the dead. Carlos, if you will repent of your sins and ask the Lord Jesus to save you, he will. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. You mean God will accept me after all the rotten things I've done? Hey, man, I was worse than you. He saved me. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish in hell, but have everlasting life in heaven. When I, I heard all this, I fell on my cell floor and asked Jesus 
to become my Lord and Savior. I give my life to you, Lord. Please save me. God, he changed me. He took away my hatred, even for Ricky. Even though he killed my kid brother, I... I could forgive him because Christ forgave me. Man, you got to get even with him for killing Lewis. No way, man. That's not for me to worry about. Vengeance is mine. I will repay, saith the Lord. When we kill each other, we're doing Satan's work. The devil loves it when unsaved people die because they go straight to hell. Without Jesus, life was hopeless. But now I have hope. And God is working miracles in my life. With men it is impossible. With God all things are possible. Jesus died for you guys too and he wants to save you. How many of you will say yes to Jesus? We all will. Praise the Lord. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. If you are in a gang, Satan has deceived you. But now you know how to get saved. Make your decision now. Tomorrow may be too late. If you trusted Jesus as your Savior, you've just begun a wonderful new life with Him. Now, number one, read your Bible, the King James Version, every day to get to know Jesus Christ better. Number two, talk to God in prayer every day. Three, be baptized. Worship, fellowship, and serve with other Christians in a church where Christ is preached, and the Bible is the final authority. Number four, tell others about Jesus Christ. Thanks for stopping by. You know, if you ever do happen to stop by a prison to tour it, you'll find that the stuff we've just shown you here and portrayed in this tract is absolutely true. Take care, God bless, and remember, Jesus Christ really is Lord.